Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and I'm super happy to continue on this Ruby Red versus, sorry, not Ruby, Red versus Blue Rooster Teeth. <laughs> sorry, we've been hitting the new Season 8 stuff too, so we're mixing them up. But we're on Season 13, Episode 13, and that momentous, the Thin Fed Line. Oh, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a good another set of episodes. We're going to do four again, most likely, with their length, and see how they turn out. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. This is, I think, the end of like the trilogy of those stories, so I'm ex I'm just excited to see it. Who knows? It might be, if it's a good ending and leads into the next season, well, we might just do a nice red versus blue night. That'd be a lot of recording, though. <laughs> a lot of work. But it would take care of a lot of future content, though. <laughs> this is certainly the most vocal split personality I've ever seen, but I suppose an eternity in isolation will do that to you. Tell me, Mr. O'Malley, when you say you wish to destroy us all, Be gone by. what exactly do you think you mean by that? I mean you will cease to exist. You will all die by my hand. <laughs> really, it's quite self-explanatory. Well, I think there's some serious issues here we're just starting to get a hold of. Nothing a little electroshock therapy could fix. Ah, I beg your pardon. After you, handsome. Oh, wait, can we talk about this? We're gonna fix you right up, Doc. Where should I stick the thermometer? Uh, I think I need to get a second opinion. We got a feather! <laughs> Finally, it's time to be quiet. Hey, you want to see if she looks at her prescription pad? We need to talk. Oh, yeah. Can we at least do it while you're on heavy sedatives? <sighs> All right, let's try this again. First, we start with a friendly handshake. Spit inside your helmet? Take yourself and fuck yourself with yourself. What? Exactly. God damn it, Palomo. Well, step up from assault and battery. He provoked me. Rebels are all fucking nuts. That's impossible. Now don't have orphanages. Go back to school. What about donuts? Now you're just speaking in riddles and you know it. I'm having a hard time following this conversation. Uh, forget it. I think we all are. Go. Fine. How'd I do? constant source of disappointment. All right. Hey, I thought I was a constant source of disappointment. Well, I will just have to try harder. Someone give me a screwdriver. Oh, why is this happening now? We're in the middle I'm gonna of spit out my fucking milk. Do anything but hate on each other. The problem isn't with them. It's just with your approach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? You can't force people into liking each other. You just gotta <laughs> lie to them until they think they like each other. That sounds like a terrible idea. No, he's right. I've used the same tactic on women a million times. Yeah. This is basic shit. First, we tell Doyle that Kimball wants to apologize and meet him for dinner. Then, we tell Kimball that Doyle wants to apologize and we invite her to the same restaurant. Oh, come on. There's no way that'll work. That's a plot point used in old sitcoms. And one of those sitcoms was called Friends, which is exactly what we want them to be. Case closed. Face it, moron. We just ain't cut out for this kind of job. What we need is someone with a more delicate touch. Someone that can act as a neutral force. Someone that's neither red nor blue. Oh no. Some sort of disgusting middle ground. Like a dark fuchsia. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. If only we knew someone that oh, just stop. Just stop. Sometimes guys my age have performance issues. That's completely natural. Epsilon, I'm serious. Hey, me too. This shit's embarrassing. And now I gotta go talk to Dr. Gray about getting some pills. Stop dodging me on this. <sighs> Look, I'm not failing if that's what you're worked up about. But I have my limits. What do you mean? I mean, 
and you can't expect me to run all of your armor equipment at the drop of a hat. I'm not a young, brand new AI. I'm just one of the fragments. Look, I'm sorry if I pushed you too far. But we can't use that as an excuse. We're going to need every advantage we can get. Oh, you're right. Would you like some holographic projections, too? How about a time distortion while you fight? Or, oh, we can get you a seat warmer. How about that? You know what we're up against. And you know what happened to the meta. What did you just say? He kept fighting for more and more power, too. And in the end, it got him killed. Don't you ever talk about Bane like you knew him. I'm just trying to show you how close you're getting to crossing a very dangerous line. You're Agent Carolina. You don't need all this fancy stuff to win. You're already the best. I was going to say, she seemed to be relying on it pretty heavily in these fights. I really do. Good, because I am really not all about the sincerity stuff. But the only reason I survived... I forgot about the lights. That's why it looks different. It's insane. He could have killed Wash. And they both could have done a lot more. But they didn't. So what does that have to do with anything anyway? I told you when I went through the gateway that I saw the three lights. Ooh. Should have been more honest. Them die. Ooh. And after they were gone, I saw all of you. Wash, Tucker, the Red, and Church. I can't lose another family. I was all scared. Uh, forgive me, but I'm all too familiar with the feeling. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I come here whenever I need a moment. It looks as though you had a similar idea. Shouldn't you be in the center of town, behind 78 inches of bulletproof everything? Oh, there's all sorts of things we should be doing. We should be prepping our next move against the enemy. But instead we're here, standing around talking. Yeah, I get used to it. You know, I believe it was the great William Shakespeare who said, Courage is not the absence of fear, it is acting in spite of it. I don't believe those words have ever been more relevant. I don't think that was Shakespeare. What? That quote? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't know who it was. I think it was... Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Rose Roosevelt or FDR? Phil. Probably FDR, right? It's was that not an FDR quote? Thank you. I was like... Something definitely sounded wrong. Just as frustrated as the rest of us. Or was it John F. Kennedy? I Fuck, I don't remember. It was one of the presidents, I'm absolutely sure. Get a grip. How? How do you forget to mention something as important as that? We were in a hurry. Oh, you were in a hurry? Hey, Locust, you know, I was really thinking about letting Sharkface live, but since we're in a hurry, why don't we just fucking kill him? I'd like to see you try. Done. No violence between partners. He's not a partner. Idiot. And thanks to him, we've got a key that does nothing until the general is dead. Then we kill the general. The grown-ups are talking in this state. So that is the voice of Juan, uh, Miles Luna, then. I think I mentioned I couldn't quite tell a couple episodes, but I'm pretty sure now. Both of you. You're the boss. Well, sick of the Tartarus. You need to get your head together. I actually like his voice acting a lot more on this guy. Like a lot. I feel like it's very, very good. No dissing on Juan, just the one I prefer. Locus, the Tartarus is maintaining orbit around the planet as discussed. Good. Shall I inform you? That pie is divine. That won't be necessary. I'd like to ask you a few questions. How can I be of assistance? I want to know more about the meta. All right. So now we're going on to episode 14, which looks like counseling. If it hits the button. So, you think you can just send me to another dimension, forget my very existence, and then expect me to help you when you're in trouble? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is why no one respects me. Come on, O'Malley. Don't be such a negative Nancy. If you had a donk to truth or and run into traffic. 
Hey, I had a dog that did that. Surprising no one. There you are! What the hell have you all been doing? Oh, just a little thing we like to call saving the planet. Oh, We've got Kimmel's men threatening to leave the capital, while Doyle's forces are setting up a perimeter to keep them in. If we don't act soon, we're going to have another civil war on our hands! Don't you wear your pretty little yellow striped head, Wash. Got everything under control. I doubt wow. it. An honest and down-to-earth counseling session. What? A counseling session. Just you two and your closest friends. Here to talk and support you. This is a waste of time. I concur. See? You're already agreeing on things. The system works. I am so sorry. Okay, let's start things off with a little role-playing, shall we? Aw, oh, yeah, dip on police officer. No. Come on, don't be shy. Look, it's easy. Griff, why don't you pretend to be me, and I'll pretend to be you? Uh, hey, everybody, look at me, I'm Doc. And I'm Dexter Griff. Oh wait, never mind. I forgot that I'm a worthless sack of human excrement that wouldn't be caught dead following orders. Because I'm too busy wishing my parents loved me as much as my sister. <laughs> Maybe I've had a stable father figure growing up. I would be so opposed to order. But I guess that's just what happens when your mother turns tricks behind the elephant cages at the circus. <laughs> Here, Dex, have some more cotton candy. <laughs> Gosh, sorry about that. Maybe we should try something else. I don't know. I think we're making progress. Of course he does. The meta. And this stuff does not yes. mix well. Any additional information we can gather on our enemy is vital to success. Would it not be more beneficial to discuss Agents Carolina and Washington? No. I have a full understanding of Washington. His background no longer interests me. Same can be said for Carolina. Very well. What would you like to know? The Meta had the potential for perfection. How is it possible that he was defeated by a group of incompetent simulation troopers? Agent Maines survived numerous injuries during his time with the Freelancers. Most would have been lethal had they been inflicted upon any other man. However, in the end, four puncture wounds in a suit resulted in asphyxiation by liquid. He drowned. I am aware of how he died. I want to know why he was unable to prevent it. As did the rest of us. It seemed impossible at the time, but as you have already seen, the simulation troopers are extraordinarily resilient. He had every possible advantage. They had each other. They had what our agents never fully achieved. Complete and total faith in one another. I think it's important to note that had the Reds and Blues combated Agent Main prior to the destruction of his AI, it's possible events may have played out differently. Why is that? You must remember that Agent Main and the Meta are two distinctly different psyches. The Meta was the result of the Sigma AI manipulating Main. His sole objective was perfection. When the AI fragments were destroyed by Agent Washington, the Meta was destroyed along with them, leaving behind a damaged shell of a man. Unlike Sigma, his only remaining goal was to obtain power. His actions were more reckless, his behavior more sporadic. And before Sigma, what was he like then? A brute. Strong, unrelenting, fearless. He had no qualms when asked to do the unpleasant, the morally questionable. <laughs> well then. Because despite what many thought of him, he knew he was, at his core, a soldier. And his actions inevitably served the greater good. The greater good is irrelevant. His actions should have been his orders, nothing more. No. That would make him a slave. When you say Main performed at his best when controlled by Sigma, when the Meta strove to be you're mistaken in assuming Sigma's definition of perfection. The Meta never wanted to be a weapon. The Meta wanted to be human. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Hmm. No. Very interesting psychological. Have you noticed a change in your behavior since entering the gateway? Hmm. I understand the portal attacked the minds of its inhabitants, confronting them with their greatest fears. That could have lasting effects on an individual. I'm fine. I'm inclined to disagree. You're overstepping your boundaries, counselor. I'm merely doing my job. Your job is Would to... Would you like to know what Felix is afraid of? I... Locus! The teams are ready. We need you up front. Of course. Going right. Discord, huh? Interesting. I wonder if he's going to be a big player say, later. Love what you did with Sharkface. Got more guts than I gave you credit for. I've worked with dangerous patients before. True. 
But if Sharkface ever found out you worked for Freelancer, ooh, I can't imagine things would play out nicely. Keep up the good work, Bryce. <laughs> they have leverage nice. That's a good Funny, dynamic. When you call me names like stupid and really stupid, it makes me feel sad. Perfect. How are you, Tucker? Kaboom. When you volunteered us to demonstrate speaking our feelings, it made me feel like hitting you in the goddamn mouth. Yay. Well, now I feel sadder. <clears throat> Are we doing this right? Right as rain. Oh, good. Well, then, now I feel happy again. I love counseling. <laughs> Don't we all? Okay, now it's your turn. Oh, caboose. Sorry, but how much longer uh -huh. will we do this? Triple has a speaking ball right now. Doc, this isn't going to work. Well, not with that attitude. Attitude isn't our problem. It's a complete and total breakdown in cooperation. Well, cooperation is a two-way street, Miss Kimball. Oh, boy. If you want to stay in this death trap of a city, that's fine. But don't think for a second I'm letting you bring down the New Republic with you. Okay, now if we could Leaving just all... Leaving is suicide. You need us just as much as we need you. If you run off now, you'll doom us all. Okay, but guys... Guys. I'd rather die trying something than waste another second standing around here. Kim Kimball? I have the speaking ball! Uh... The... speaking ball? Yes. And you know what? I'm done talking. I'm ready for action. Wait! But, but please! Look! Can't you just say one nice thing about the other person? Something? Anything? I always imagined you as a tyrant, a madman bent on absolute control. Now I see I was wrong. You're just a stubborn, incompetent man, and I don't know what's worse. Ooh, that's burn. Do you know what your problem is, Vanessa? You're far too eager to die for your beliefs. When you felt your government had betrayed you, you stood against it. When your leaders fell before you, you took their place. And now, when we are at our most vulnerable, you want to fight. I can honestly say that I've never met a more courageous individual in all my life. What? 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 I mean, all right. Great job. I wish... I wish I had a tenth of the courage that you possess. Maybe if I did, I'd have made a better general. But I don't. And I'm afraid. Not just for myself, but for my people. They're my people, too. Which is precisely why we should be working to save them. You think some cheap compliments are going to win me over? Why do you insist on fighting me? Look, guys, if we can just... To be fair, uh, I'm honestly... Not... Inserting their bo battles prior to this whole interference, but Vanessa has made way more fuck up so far than uh, General Dude, honestly. Oh, they're just dropping in. Okay. <laughs> oh, and they are not ready. <laughs> Excuse me. Well then, to the next episode. Armonia Pot 1, which I think was the armory, right? Or the capital, whatever. I thought you guys said we were safe in the capital. I never thought they'd be so bold. Uh, they, they take too many casualties. I guess they don't care how many people they lose. Once they have the sword, it won't matter. It sounds like we're gonna make sure they lose all their men. <laughs> yes, we get the counseling session. Bring on the bloodbath. <laughs> Let's get out I love him. Stick it to him, gang. Hold up. Um, I got a better idea, but you're probably not gonna like it. Can't be much worse than the current one. It's like Kimball said. The capital's a death trap. But not for us. That's used in your head. Out of here. What are you talking about? Didn't you hear? We're evacuating. Ex 
Excuse me? General's orders. We're abandoning Armonia. Warthogs, Pelicans, whatever can get us out of the capital. But why? Well, the Mercs just dropped all of their men right into the city. A city that just so happens to have a very powerful nuclear reactor. And if we blow up the reactor... We blow up everything Karon has to throw at us. Not a bad plan, everybody. Both of them. Be a pelican docked in the garage. Load up as many supplies as you can, then get Tucker and Doyle out of the city. We'll take care of their reactor's manual overload. Be ready to come pick us up once you're done. Yeah. Are you sure there's no other way? No. Ammonia is our home. We'll build a new one. Right now, you need to focus on staying alive. We should keep moving. How much farther? It's gonna be a while. Tunnels wind all over the place. Well, at least they keep us off the streets and out of trouble. I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, uh, I don't think so. I really, really hate this guy. We don't have time for this. Don't worry. I'm the one he wants. If I stay, will you let them go? Huh. Deal. But once you're dead, I'm coming after you, Washington. Please kill him. Sure, you'll be all right. Yeah, I'm sure. Hopefully, she doesn't rely too much on her Tech. stuff like she was. Tech. Rocket launchers. Rocket launchers. Oh. You better goddamn believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting next to him on the plane. Shotgun. Check. Uh, guys, remember those bad guys from earlier? Well, they're coming back. Oh, dear. Griff, what's the status on our pelican? I don't know. Every time I turn it on, it just makes a loud clunking sound. I'm gonna clunk you if you don't figure it out. God damn it. Where's Lopez when you need him? Wait a minute. Where is Lopez? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Oh, shit. Pendejo. Oh, shit. Yo estaba arreglando el motor. Lopez is stuck in the pelican. What? Get him out of there. They're coming inside. Quick, everybody hide. Listen, all I'm saying is if we grab a warthog, we can cover more. Damn it! We suck at hiding! Targets at the armor! Ah! Good job, Doc. Remove the mechanical man! This step! Hostile forces approaching. Oh god, they know! Wash, please tell me you guys are done at the reactor. We need backup! Haven't made it yet. We ran into shark bait. What? Caroline is handling him. What's wrong? Her kid in. We'll figure something out. Figure something out? Just what exactly do you suggest we do? We hold this place down until we can get the hell out of here. Ow. Keep it together. You got this, see? You can beat me down as many times as you want. But you're just putting off the inevitable. So come on. What are you waiting for? trying to figure out how to beat me. Are you just too scared? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry for what we did to you, to your friends. You were on one side of the fight and we were on the other. We thought we were the good guys. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're sorry. Sorry doesn't change what you did. Sorry doesn't bring them back. I know, but I'm offering you a choice. I don't want to fight you. Turn back now, and you can walk away from this alive. Uh, you got such skinny arms. And I'm gonna rip it out. All right, I gotta flip the camera. At least it's getting, it got easier again to flip it. We'll let that run for a sec. I'm surprised that popped up so fast. It usually doesn't. Hello, everyone. Now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the liberty to the next. Yep. That right around 30 minutes seems to be the length for these. And I'm cool with that. 
Mm. What's going on? The targets are inside, but they must have some of the best soldiers with them. Our men can't get near the armory, even with cloaking. How's that possible? Oh lord. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to vomit us. Come on, let's work it. Just so you know, I get very emotional. Wait, wait. If the pirates know that we're on board the Pelican, what's to keep them in the city for the explosion? What? I mean, they'll just come after us. We'll lose our home, we'll lose everything for nothing. Well, there's not really any other option. He's gonna give the sword away and stay. I think they're falling back. No, they have the sword, so he can't stay. Goodbye. I was gonna say he isn't gonna give up that easy. You're not running away this time. Sure, you want to try that again? So the flamethrowers, I thought, was a good addition to to make her use her stuff. I have a doubt of that somehow. It really looks a little gray. Outside, at least.
Oh, shit. Oh, I've been waiting for some of those super strength displays. We're kidding about the entrance. As I'm still breathing, it will never be over. I will hunt you. I will burn you. Well, then I guess you just beat him in the head. I'm alive. You're all as good as dead. Dang. You know, I don't think he'll be getting up from that one. <sighs> Me either. You okay? Yeah, I was just like, that's probably not the thing you want to say in that situation. Not a smart one. If he pops up, I'm gonna just be a little surprised, I won't lie. Allegedly! Doyle, we have Carolina and are at the extraction point. Are you ready? Almost. Just give me a few more minutes and I found him. Not bad. But now. Oh no. Yeah, now he's in trouble because he's. Doyle, what is it? Doyle, are you ready? I'm afraid. I'm afraid I won't be joining you. What? The controls are destroyed. There's no way to overload the reactor with enough time to leave. But I can still trigger an explosion if I damage the core myself. He came from over here. Don't be an idiot. We need you alive. Just stay low and we can come to you. Kimball, I'm surrounded. Someone needs to be here to pull the trigger. It shouldn't be you, because if you die, the weapon goes into their hands. Just as you said, sometimes you have to risk lives. Then let me do it. If Felix isn't in the city, you'll be putting the sword right in his hand. There's no time. Come on, let's go. This is actually a real good plan for that. For sake, Vanessa, I know it's not perfect, but I'm rubbish as a leader, and even worse, as a soldier. This is all I can do. We have to go. I just think it wasn't a smart choice. We finally have a chance, a real chance. And if Felix is out there, I know you can stop him. There he is! They've spotted me. The timer on this detonator barely lasts a minute. You need to go. God damn it, Doyle! Stop! Cora still needs you, Miss Kimball. So, when you die, you had better be damned sure that those you leave behind can carry on without you. I know I am. This is General Donald Doyle. Signing off. Wait, no! And then we got one more episode of this. <laughs> Any last words, General? I'd like to quote the great William Shakespeare, but to tell you the truth, This can't be it because there's four more episodes. Nice. All right, shit, that was nice. Armonia Part Two, uh, season thirteen, episode sixteen was great. I enjoyed the shit out of it, guys. I really did. Um, as always, let me know what you think in the comments. What you thought of this episode, this season so far. If you think we could change some stuff on the reactions, let me know. I really enjoyed this one, though. It was a lot. I will say there's a lot of risk in what Doyle was doing, so I'm not sure I still agree with it. I mean, obviously, to take out a heavy chunk of the enemy forces is good, but when they do have that key to destroy the whole planet, it's still a pretty big gamble. Having said that, we will be doing another set of episodes to finish these off. We try to do them about 30 minutes at a time, and eventually I plan on comping these into something pretty big. Maybe some dumbass big video, like, all the season. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. We'll see how that goes. But um, thank you guys once again, and I appreciate everybody who watches. I'm Axel Grave, and this has been Reactions with an X, Red versus Blue. 
If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you would sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.